So let me explain some model multiple choice questions with answers and explanations for the subject signals and systems. So I have covered some standard signals, step ramp pulse, impulse sinusoidal and exponential signals as topics. First question, graphical representation of a signal in frequency domain is called frequency spectrum. So what is a frequency spectrum? Frequency spectrum of a signal is the distribution of amplitude and phases of each frequency component against frequency. So the answer for this question is frequency spectrum. If a signal depends on only one independent variable, it is called one dimensional signal. So a signal which is a function of single independent variable is called one dimensional signal. Two independent variable, two dimensional signal. Three independent variable, three dimensional signal. More than three, it can be called as multi-dimensional signal. Example for signal, such signals or music, speech, heartbeat, etc. Graphical representation of a signal in time domain is called waveform. So as we know waveform shows changes in amplitude over a certain amount of time. So I repeat waveform shows changes in amplitude over a certain amount of time. So the graphical representation of a signal in time domain is called waveform. Analog signals can be converted into discrete time signals by the process called sampling. So what is sampling? Sampling can also be defined as the process of measuring the instantaneous values of continuous time signal in discrete form. So the answer for this question is sampling. A continuous time sinusoidal signal is represented by which among the following expression? So the option A, x of t is equal to A sin omega t plus phi is the right answer in which amplitude A denotes, ampl sorry, alphabet A denotes amplitude, omega denotes angular frequency and phi denotes phase angle in radians. The unit rectangular pulse function is represented as which expression? The first expression is correct phi of t by tau is equal to 1 for modulus of t less than or equal to tau by 2. So what does modulus of t represents? Modulus of t denotes the amplitude of the signal 1 lies between minus tau by 2 to plus tau by 2. So the answer is option A. The discrete time unit impulse function is also called as unit sample sequence. So what is unit sample sequence? I have given the expression that is del of n equal to 1 for n is equal to 0. It is 0 for n not equal to 0. Let me share you another question. The continuous time unit impulse function is also called what? It is also called as Dirac delta function. So continuous time unit impulse function del of t is called as Dirac delta function which plays an important role in signal analysis. Unit sample sequence. Let me give you another information regarding this. Unit sample sequence in discrete time can be shifted either as an advanced signal or a delayed signal. So how can we denote advanced signal? Advanced signal is denoted as del of n plus k or a delayed signal can be denoted as del of n minus k. k may be any variable. Unit step function can be obtained by integrating the unit impulse function. So as the property says integral minus infinity to infinity del of t dt is equal to 1. So what is 1? 1 denotes unit step function. Unit impulse function can be obtained by differentiating unit step function. So as per the property del of t is equal to d by dt of u of t. Unit ramp function can be obtained by integrating the unit step function. So, integral u of t dt is equal to del of, sorry, integral of 1 into dt. So, 1 into dt with respect to the integral is equal to t. So, what is t? t 
P is R of P. Unit step function can be obtained by differentiating the unit ramp function. So, u of t is equal to d by dt of r of t. So, r, what is r of t? t. So, d by dt of t is equal to 1. So, what is 1? 1 is u of t. Double integration of unit impulse function produces which function? It is nothing but ramp function. So, double integration with respect to del of t dt is equal to single integration u of t dt which is equal to r of t. Double differentiation of unit ramp function produces which function? The answer is impulse function d by dt of r of t is equal to u of t. Again differentiate d by dt of u of t you will get del of t. So the answer is impulse. In real exponential signal x of t is equal to a e power alpha t. If a is equal to 0, that is sorry, if alpha is equal to 0, then the signal will be, which answer? The signal will be same for all amplitude of time. So, the signal x of t is of amplitude for all the times. As the picture so shows, it is same for all the time periods. If the same real exponential signal a e power alpha t, if a takes the value of positive, positive means a can be greater than 0, the signal grows exponentially along the time period. If it takes negative value, it takes decaying exponential signal. If a complex exponential signal x of n is equal to a power n e power j omega n plus phi. If modulus of a is equal to 1, then its real and imaginary parts are sinusoidal. So, substitute in the place of a 1. 1 power n is 1. So, e power j omega n plus phi. So, e power j is nothing but cos and sin values. So, real and imaginary parts are sinusoidal. In a complex exponential signal, if x of n is equal to the same expression, if a takes the value greater than 1, so what happens for greater than 1? The signal grows exponentially. For the same expression, if alpha is less than 1, so alpha means, sorry, a means less than 1, for negative values, the signal grows, sorry, the signal decays exponentially. Evaluate the integral. So, integral 0 to infinity t square del of t minus 6 dt. What is the answer? We have to evaluate the integral. The answer is 36. How? We know that del of t minus 6 is equal to 1 for only the value of 6. Only t is equal to 6, the amplitude is 1. Okay. So, in the place of t, substitute 6. So, what is 6 square? 36. Evaluate the given summation. So, summation n is equal to minus infinity to infinity, sum of n minus 2 cos 2n. The answer is cos 4. How? So, similarly, for n is equal to 2, the amplitude is 1. So, in the pla place of n, substitute 1. So, cos 2 into 1, cos, sorry, n, n value is 2. So, cos of 2 into 2, cos 4. So, in this video, I have covered the standard signals as multiple choice questions. In the next video, I would like to provide multiple choice questions for CT and DT signals like periodic, aperiodic, deterministic and random energy and power signals. So, dear viewers, your com comments would be valuable for me to provide more such videos. So, support me. So, support this channel for more such videos. So, thank you so much.